The dogs in America are a different breed and I'm learning that shit every day. I went overboard. Good job. How to navigate a year with a dog. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sophie, but everybody calls me the Oddity, and I am so excited for this vlog. <laughs> I am absolutely excited because I have promised this vlog for the past God knows like year it's actually been a full year since I got my puppy and by the title already you know I'm talking about my puppy Kelvo come here come say hi <laughs> we're matching today let me show you what I'm wearing so this is the boss and then his says Stop licking me, boy! So, hey guys, this is Mr. Kobo. Say hi, Papa. No? You don't want to say hi to the camera? No, he hates the camera. But we are talking all about Mr. Kobo the have a puppy today. So, get some wine, get some pen and pepper, and let's talk about having a puppy. Okay, so quick background about Mr. Kovu, they have a poo. Uh, I got Kovu last year, October 22nd, if I'm not mistaken, or 21st. I actually have his Instagram, which if you're not following, go and follow it. His Instagram is Kovu underscore the have a poo. And I got him last year, let me double check this real quick. October 23rd, I told Bay. I told Bay. Okay, so we got him October 23rd last year, and Kovu's birthday is August 26, 2020. Ah! Look at me talking about like birthday. Come here, Papa. No, don't be in my bathroom. No, sit. Thank you. He's so trained. Ah! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna tell you all about everything about Kovu. But let me preface this video by saying I have not posted a puppy update video, a puppy vlog about Kovu because. When I started posting puppy hauls, the comments used to be so mean to me. I don't know if it's because I'm a black girl. I don't know if it's because of the things I was saying. I don't know, but when I first posted my video, and I'm gonna tag the video here, or even link the video down below for the for like the puppy haul and puppy update video. It was just a lot of comments about how like, oh, you seem unprepared. You should never have gotten a dog. It seems like your partner doesn't like your dog. It was very much so like very mean comments, and I don't usually get mean comments like that, thankfully. So it very it took me like it took me aback, and I was like, I don't know if I want to constantly post puppy videos because I don't want people critiquing how I take care of my dog. Mind you, this feels like you know when moms say like, oh, people are always come like critiquing like moms being moms. <laughs> Look at me being a whole mom. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna be talking about. Kovu, how I got him, and not how I got him, sorry. I already shared how I got Kovu, so if you've not watched any of those videos about like him being a puppy, go check the description down below. They're really, really cute because he was literally the tiniest dog when I first got him. Now, this grown man, Kovu, this grown man over here, let me, let me move his thing closer so he doesn't feel like he's far away. <laughs> Now this grown man is such a big boy now, y'all. Like Kovu is huge. And there's so much I want to share about like this journey. If you don't know, just to give you a quick backstory a little bit outside of what you should watch. I had never had a dog before. Kovu was my first dog. I'm an immigrant in America, so this is my first American dog because let me tell you, y'all, I'm African, okay? I'm African African. Very much Nigerian. Very much so black, okay? And where I come from, we don't we don't do dogs the way y'all do dogs over here, okay? The dogs in America are a different breed and I'm learning that shit every day. So I didn't know how to take care of a dog. I used to be terrified of dogs. And now it's been a year since I got my first ever dog and like, it's been a journey so far. So let's talk about it. How to navigate a year with the dog. <laughs> I have to get the notes app because I genuinely wanted to make sure I don't miss anything and I give you all the information. All right, so first things first, it's been a year since I got Kovu for sure and I was not ready for Kovu at all. And when I tell you, I, I actually just said it, but I've never had a dog. Uh, and I'm gonna start with like the process of picking the dog. So now that he's a year old, a lot of his like personality is coming out, a lot of like energy and things like y'all dogs are children Damn, no, no i'm dead ass like i did not know how 
how I don't know how to explain it, but like I've never been an animal person. So the first like getting a dog to me was just like, oh, he's getting an animal. And I'm learning now. I'm not saying I don't like my dog. I'm just being very candid, yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna say that dogs are definitely like children like they have personalities they talk a lot so they bark a lot they need training they need care they need attention like especially the kind of dog breed you get it's so important you actually do your research i was extremely extra when i was getting this dog like i asked all my friends i watched all the youtube videos i had a whole youtube playlist i read everything i could about the dogs i like did like research for like six months before i found the actual dog i wanted and i'll say this a lot of my friends who got dogs like i remember one of my friends got like a husky and she realized like oh nah i can't deal with this and she has to like rehome him i didn't want that to happen i didn't want to like fall in love with something and then have to give the, the like the thing away so i made sure i did my research and when i was looking like so kovu is a havanese poodle i get that question a lot he's a havanese poodle hey boo boo are you sleeping okay no he's good so he's a havanese poodle and he's about 10 pounds right now and he's gonna be about 10 11 pounds fully grown the doctor actually says we must keep him this size so i'm really thankful he's really tiny i can literally pick him up and that's it but like i had to research the havanese breed and the poodle breed to see if that was what the mix i wanted everybody during quarantine had a poodle everybody had and i'm gonna put it insert a picture of a poodle here everybody had a, and this kind of dog like the red color or like the white poodles but i know like everybody every youtube video i watched had a poodle especially the cavapoo so cavalier king spaniel and poodle mix and y'all i was obsessed with that breed i was like i want a cavapoo i want a cavapoo i want a cavapoo but i started reading up on like cavapoos and i'm not knocking any dog breed or anything like i just was like hmm cavapoos are very like attached to their owners they're very like affectionate they get a lot of separation anxiety all of that stuff and i didn't want that issue with my dog because i knew i was going to be traveling a lot and having these poodles are still very much so attached to their owners but not has as it has wow not as bad as like cavapoos so that's why i ended up with having these poodle they're really really smart like kovu is one of the smartest dogs you guys and that's not because he's my child he's genuinely smart like this dog drives me crazy one time kovu pretended to limp i'm gonna try to insert the video clip here this dog we pretended to limp for attention for a whole day straight and then i rushed into the vet and found out he was limping for a lie yo yeah, like, I mean, I don't ah! know you're like, oh, how did you turn yeah. how did you turn how did you turn your leg is not paining you. How did you turn? Boy, get the... Oh. This dog has played me several times, but yeah, so that's one thing I wanted to share is like, you have to be careful. Pick the breed that you actually fits your lifestyle. If you're never going to be home, don't pick a breed that like would have separation anxiety. If you're living in an apartment complex, don't get a big dog. If you live in a big house, get a big dog with a yard. Like those are all the things that you need to like know about dogs. Let's get started with like sleeping arrangements and everything I got for him for sleeping. When I first got Kovu, I went overboard with a lot of the things I got. So I'm going to like show y'all his sleeping arrangement and like the things that he loves and the things that like i shouldn't have bought or the things like i bought and he broke some of them i've already i've already thrown them away so like i'm just gonna try to insert as many clips as i can of what his setup looked like and what it looks like now Right now, come on with me. Come on, come on, Mr. Grandpa. Want to show them your bed? Come on. Okay. So, hold on. Let me try to show you. Come on. In. Sit. Thank you. So this is his setup. This is what my house looks like. So I made sure I wanted him to have ample space if I wasn't home. I got this from Clearly Loved Pets. This is what it looks like. It's definitely changed. The clips I showed you earlier had like a little like design in it. Kovu doesn't really like designs. He doesn't even like play in his kennel. Like he's the kind of dog that enjoys like playing like outside. He enjoys the idea of freedom. So for the most part, he comes here when I'm leaving home. So he doesn't have to destroy anything, but he still has space. He has a little toy basket with all his toys and this comfortable rug that I I can't remember where I got these things. So I'm gonna find them. They're really soft and they're made for puppies. So like I can wash them easily and it works for him. This is what it looks like from this angle. When I told you this dog is full, <laughs> you are buff. Hi, I know. And I also got this donut. I feel like everybody and their mom has this donut for their dogs. 
and this is the coolest thing y'all watch. Kobu, down, Ko, good boy, go sit. I just have to like tap. Good job. That way, like whenever we're watching TV and we don't want him like, in this area, he can just go sit in his donut and then he looks sit, stay. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, so that's his setup. And then for sleeping, he has his little crate. I also can't remember where I got this crate. I'm gonna link it down below as well. And it's just, he doesn't play with his toys in this crate because it's like really just cozy. So he sleeps in my room with me. This is my bed. And this is where his setup is. He has this little plush rug from Target. And here, come on, come on. It's really cozy. Like he still has a lot of space in there, of course. So like it's really cozy for stuff and everything. And he just like sleeps there at night. All right, go on. So yeah, so that's his little setup at my place. Just flying for you. This has been a year now, and so like he's pretty much grown, right? So he like knows what time to sleep, knows where to go when he's tired, all of that stuff. But when we first got Kovu, it was a different story. But when you first get a puppy, they don't they didn't tell you that they don't sleep. So like for example, like Kovu would wake up overnight and whine because he needs to go pee and all that. I'm gonna talk about peeing and potty training in like the next chapter. But for the most part, like we had to sort of like train him in his like little crate. So the crate I showed just showed you in my room, Kovu wouldn't sleep in it overnight unless we like covered it with a blanket. So apparently he didn't like the fact that he could hear noises and he could see. So the moment like I had to, cause your girl likes her sleep. What's wrong? Really? Attention. So like the moment I realized that he would only like sleep when it was covered, I started covering his like little crate and then over time I transitioned out to like taking the blanket over because I felt like he was going to be hot, you know, if the blanket was over the crate. So I just like stopped doing that and he just finally got used to it. But yeah, I think when we first got him, we woke, like, he, he woke up at least once a night to like go pee and it was very interesting because we lived on the 10th floor of my apartment and we had to literally go down the elevator around 3, 4 a.m. every morning to go take this dog to pee. But that's what happens with potty training. But yeah, so that's the sleeping schedule and the sleeping arrangement right now. So, potty training and peeing and all that stuff. When we first got Kovu, nobody tells you how many times, especially if you have a really small dog, how many times these people pee. A lot. And I'm just, as the great mother that I am, I and Kovu actually started, he was potty trained fully by five months. And I got him when he was two months. So it took us three months of potty training pretty much to get him settled. But this is the secret. Once your dog eats, after 15 minutes, take them out to pee or poo. Literally stand outside until they pee or do something. Let them have a dedicated area to where like when they need to pee, they just go there and they pee. I'm gonna like try to link videos or like clips here of like every time he ate, 15 minutes later, I will take him down. And then dogs usually do this thing where like when they start running around in circles, that means they're about to pee or they're about to poo. So I literally watch him. The moment he starts, even if he doesn't need to pee, if he runs around once, picking him up, taking him downstairs. So for the longest time, what I'll do is I'll say like, I'll go by the door and I'll be like, potty, potty, go outside, go outside. I know, yeah, okay, look at him. He's like, wait, outside? So like the moment he says like, I, like he hears outside, he's like, oh, it's time to go pee. And I'll literally pick him up until he was like five, six months, I'll pick him up and then like drop him really on the grass and go pee or outside, potty. And then that way he just knew immediately that he needed to pee. And then gradually and slowly, I'll, you know, use his leash and harness and we'll talk about that to go pee. When I tell you it was work, it was full on work. Hey, Papa. But yeah, so that was pretty much it about potty training. And also, I want to just like flag some of the things I bought for him. I know like we got him this like, y'all, when I tell you I bought so many things for this dog, we bought this little like feed scrubber. You can see the tag is still on it. It's been a year and I never used it. But I saw this on every YouTuber's clip about like when your dog is going for a walk and you don't like it, this feet being dirty, just use this. But I ended up just never using this to wash his feet. So I was just lazy and having to pull soap and water every time was stressful. So I, what I did, I got these wipes. They're earth rated wipes. My favorite, let me see if I can put this here. My favorite, favorite wipes, hands down. I wipe his butt and his paws. Every time he came in from outside, it went well. It was good. Moving on, we're going to talk about food. Oh, my God. So, when we first got Kovu, this spoiled dog absolutely refused to eat his kibble. 
So when we first got Kovu, we started feeding him puppy kibble. And I don't know how to explain what kibble is, but kibble is like dog food here. And so I'm gonna, sh like this is the kibble we used to give him. And he didn't eat it, like he ate it like once or twice when he was tiny. For the most part, like he hated, he hated like his kibble. We tried like, people were like, try putting it in water, try adding like some oil and some like sweet things and treats. All those things we tried and Sokovi wasn't eating it. Then I googled that I should go get, get him some rice and chicken and I offered him some rice and chicken. When I told you this dog ate that thing up, he ate it up. So like for the first, like for two weeks I was giving this dog bare chicken, beef, like and it was like, the, like seasoned properly, like not seasoned properly or whatever. Because you can't put salt and whatever on the food. So it was like plain chicken or whatever. But Kovu ate it. But it wasn't sustainable for me. Not everybody can actually afford to feed, feed their dog like fresh food. And apparently that's like a whole thing. I don't know what that means. But that was ideally what it was. So we ended up like going back to the vet and saying like we need some help. And the vet was just like, yeah, like for dogs mostly, like if they don't eat one day, two day, by the third day, they'll be hungry and they'll just eat what they have and what they see. So I was like, Ugh. I, it hurt my heart to do that, but I was like, I can't afford to be giving this dog chicken and rice every day or chicken and whatever yet. So he ended up like eating the kibble on the third day and we stuck to this kibble till he outgrew the puppy kibble. Once he outgrew it, I, I was like, I'm, I'm able thankfully now to afford like good, not good food, but I'm able to afford like food that I know he enjoys a little bit more. And I know like he's not been gaining or losing weight on kibble. It was just like, it was nothing I was adding to it. And I was just only because like I didn't know what to add. I didn't know if I needed carrots. I, just, I wasn't sure I didn't want to mess anything up. So I ended up getting this. This is like his new food. It's like frozen fresh food. See, 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 see. He likes, he, Kovu loves, like he's obsessed. Like the moment like it's time to eat, he literally runs to the kitchen runs to the kitchen so basically this food like you just cut it i'm gonna show you how i do it when he's what no but it literally runs to the kitchen for that so now we feed him like fresh pets fresh food like chick and it has like chicken this one has like chicken with spinach and potatoes and it's like all these things so it's pretty easy now to just feed him i just cut it every day and eat it it's expensive it's like 6.99 per thing and this lasts like maybe a week, three to four days, five days maybe. So it's very, it's a lot of money, but what do you do when you love your puppies? <gasps> Mommy loves you. Ah. And in terms of treats, Kovu was also very, very specific about like the kinds of treats he ate. He only eats this treat and this one, like this chicken thing. Like, you know how like some apartment complexes have like dog treats just lying around that they give their dogs. If I give Kovu that, he's gonna puke. Every time, even when he was doing his dog training, same thing too, like, if they give him any other Kim, like, treat, Kovu pukes. The only thing he's ever eaten is this and this training treat right here. I don't know what it is, but my dog is very picky with food. Just like his mom. But yeah, so that's really it in terms of food and stuff. Okay, going back to my notes, what else did I need to say? Harnesses and colors. I spent a lot of money on colors and harnesses. So when we first started, Kovu had like a bunch of like, oh, what is that harness? Where is it? Yeah, let me try to find it. Come on, let's take y'all on a walk. The moment I put on his harness, I feel like he's gonna go crazy. But this is one of his harnesses. He rarely wears this, but this is what we tend to give him to wear. It's like, a, it's like from Puppy, Puppy, yeah, Lucy and Co. That's where I get most of his stuff from. Lucy and Co. And he has this like leash as well. He used to have a retractable leash, which I'm gonna put here as well, but I don't know, at the end of the day, I don't know, it just wasn't, and like he made him, like he made him suck at walking, and I'll explain what that means when we talk about like training and everything, but yeah, so that's what he uses now. I actually, he actually doesn't walk with his harness or leash a lot anymore, like, I don't know what I did, but whenever, whenever I'm more out, like Kovu doesn't leave my side, he oftentimes would just walk with me, and if I like move a different place, like he would just move as well with me, so shout out to good training, you know, good motherhood, and all that stuff, sorry y'all, you know, moving around a lot. Okay, what they don't tell you about everything else, I think you need to know, so these are the essentials, right? And it's just a flag for you. This is some of the stuff I already bought for Kovu. I'm gonna like do a quick like recap of the things I actually bought. Oh, one thing about this too. Sorry, is this scatterbrain? I feel like this is just my life. So y'all will enjoy it with what you see. KK. I used to think I would be that person that would bathe their dog by themselves, but 
I just don't have the time and he just looks like a rat whenever he showers so I don't do that anymore but we used to get his birth and bee shampoo we got this lavender spray like we got a lot of stuff like a lot of stuff I'm gonna link all his things down below and at the end of the day like I just realized that like I just didn't I felt like I wasn't showering I'm like, bathing for him properly like right now he's definitely in need of a bath like he needs a groom like he needs to get his hair cut all of that he's getting his hair cut i think on tuesday but yeah so i <laughs> i ended up to actually take him to the groomers and groomers are so expensive in dc a groomer is like 150 dollars per groom yeah I didn't know that so every month yeah i spend about 150 dollars because I, I groom him every three to four weeks because his hair gets matted a lot so i groom him every one uh three to four weeks it's not bad it's just investment 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 so i grew couple once uh every three to four weeks in terms of like brushing his teeth to same thing i try to clean his like little eye booger he has a lot of eye boogers in his eyes and so i try to like clean it once in a while with this eye cleaning thing i can't find it anymore because i've not used it in a while but i ended up just taking him to the groomers every three to four weeks and it helps clear that thing out so now let's talk about like training i took training in kovu to like three different puppy basics class i took him to the one at pet smart one at like district dogs in dc and i took him to the one that was like at home none of them did shit i was just gonna be honest with you i'm gonna be honest with you unless you can invest in good training i just i don't i didn't they didn't do anything to me so the first time i got some lady to come to do like private home trainings that went well but then she stopped coming and it was like 200 200 per training session which was super expensive so i didn't i couldn't afford that and i took him to pet smart and when I tell you, like, PetSmart training was foolishness. Like, it was him and other dogs in his class, but they were all bigger than him. So it made no sense for... He wasn't learning anything. He was either distracted. It didn't feel like it was one-on-one -on -one connection, and so he didn't learn anything. And it was everything I watched on YouTube, I just did, and he learned from me. And District Dogs was really dope in D.C., but he already knew a lot of the basic training anyway, so he was like, he didn't really learn anything new. I think the only like, thing he doesn't know how to do is, like, lay down. All I say is like I invested in training and it didn't work out but like right now I train by myself I just watch YouTube videos good walking practices all that stuff and I know it's just extra stuff that I'm trying to do I hate when people have small dogs and they don't know how to take care of their dog or they don't like train the dog so the dog is like a nuisance Kofu is definitely very very excited he's a very excited dog he's just he's very much like me but I try really hard to at least train him a little bit so like if I tell him like go sit he's able to like move away and go sit and he's like not like in people's faces all the time now medical they don't tell you about how much these dogs spent my god i feel like till, till date i have spent at least two thousand dollars on like medical bills for kovu and it's mostly like vaccinations like when he was like a baby he had like vaccinations every other week or something like that like he has like apparently because he's such a small dog now he also has like some bone density issues or something so now we have bone supplements in his body like get puppy insurance i have nationwide insurance but you guys huh, will lie when i tell you when i tell <laughs> just thinking about the money coming out of my bank account just hurts my soul i got puppy insurance with like, pet insurance for him just because like i knew he's very he's a rough dog so i know he's gonna get hurt most of the time i want to make sure i'm like always covered so get puppy insurance if you don't i did a lot of vaccine i think his last shot is tomorrow actually we're getting his last like one year shot because he's one years old now and so once we get that too then he's good to go oh last thing his toys kovu enjoys ripping and shredding all his toys and so what i ended up doing is doing let me show y'all i ended up like getting him like a toy subscription from bark box my dog is so spoiled and so every month he gets like a new selection of toys this i think is from target for the most part that was from his Bark box October delivery. He loves his ball. Let's see, he's ready to play fetch. And then like he has like a basket of toys. It's not a lot of toys because he's destroyed the ones that came this month. But for the most part, like he likes like squeaky, like he squeak. Like this is one of his favorite toys. So yeah. Oh my god. Okay, I feel like that was a lot of information. If y'all don't even care about dogs and you're just watching it, hi. <laughs> I think that's it. I love my dog. I really do. It's so crazy because I don't know if you people know this, but I live in America by myself and I have a partner and we like co parent Kovu. But for the most part, like it finally feels like oh, fam I have family here, you know, like I have my own little baby. I have a good partner. Like it feels good. I think puppy, like he's a pandemic puppy for sure because I got him in 2020, but he definitely changed my life. Like this dog is a madman. He's a crackhead of a dog, but he's like my best friend. 
I love you so much. Oh my God, that is it. That is it, that is it. Everything else I got for this dog, I'm gonna put down in the comments below for y'all to check them out and buy them. Everything I think worked, everything that did not work, I'm gonna tell y'all to not put them down in the comments below. But yeah, this is the one year update. Mr. Kovu the Havapu is one years old. It's been a hell of a year. I love him so much. I'm glad I got a dog. I'm really, I genuinely am glad I got a dog. So if you ever think of getting a dog, like get a dog, but just know they're hard work and it's like you just have a child. Everything you need to know is gonna be in the comments down below. I love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging with us. I'm gonna now do a really, really sappy one year video montage of me and Kovu's love because I am extra AF. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Are you biting my acrylic? Are you biting my acrylic? <laughs>